Why do you like this? It's a back on your screen with another vlog. Hope you guys are well. I need to clean up a lot. This is not usually how I start off my vlogs. We went out to brunch. I like my omelet. That's been my new go-to. I used to love French toast and waffles and pancakes, but lately I've been on that om omelet tip. I don't know how eggs bennies are supposed to be because they're not really my thing, but my friends got that and they didn't really like it. So I guess it's not highly recommended from that place. They are known for their waffles after all. I probably should have told David that when he picked it. But I feel like since he's new to the neighborhood, he might as well choose. Yesterday was so much fun, but I have so much cleaning to do. If you watched last week's vlog, you know exactly why. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna clean the countertops. You can hear the dishwasher going in the back. I'm gonna sweep her and sweep. And then I'm gonna do my yoga sesh because I didn't do it this morning. As soon as I woke up, he's like, brunch? <laughs> sure, why not? I should have said, let's do yoga first. But he didn't have yoga clothes, it's all good. So anywho, that's what we gonna do. blessing me today look what I got my friends like are you home yeah what's going on I'm coming by in five minutes to drop off some stew chicken you know how long we've been talking about homemade stew chicken and he actually came through today I'm so excited so I'm gonna have that for my lunch but I'm actually in the middle of my yoga sesh so let me finish that first Exhaustion does not begin to describe how I feel today. Ooh, I was up past midnight editing and I'm still not done. I'm going to assume or project that I probably have around two more hours of editing to go before the vlog is up. Fingers crossed, because that's still a long time considering I was editing from what, five, six until past midnight yesterday. <sighs> All in the name of a weekly vlog. I'm gonna have some tea. Maybe I'll make an iced chai. I'll do that. Let's do that. I don't even know which one is the chai anymore. It doesn't have the label on the bottom. I haven't had chai in a long time. This is caramel shortbread. That's sleepy lychee. And why do I feel like this one is ow? Salted caramel. Yep, salted caramel. This one tastes like caramel bubble tea. Ding ding ding. Butterscotch chai. <sighs> okay, I think I'm gonna bake today. It's gonna rain. The warning for the rain starts in about an hour. Well, I'm gonna bake tonight, so it doesn't matter when the rain starts. What am I saying to you guys? I'm all over the place already. I completely forgot to take these yesterday. Truth be told, when I woke up, I was so sick. I barely finished the omelet. I actually left some on the plate, which I never do. But I was so just, the walk and the gelato helped. Gelato before noon is crazy. Maybe it would have some indication. So what would my family physician do? Would you know? Or what would she recommend? I don't know. Sorry. Oh. Okay, I guess that's a good thing. That means there's probably not a serious problem if you guys couldn't detect it. That's good news, I guess. So she said that the test results, the one that I told you in the last vlog that cost me $130, those came back negative. So hurrah, hurrah for that. That means there's nothing technically wrong with my guts. The ab routines, the abs are coming back, but they're still like, not a pouch, I'm exaggerating, but it's just not, tummy's not on flat, flat. 
Burian, what's that? It's not where it's supposed to be and I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to do some research. When they were first looking into it, they thought it was maybe celiac or dairy and I was like, no. From my nutrition background, I would know. The first thing I did when I was having the pain was the elimination diet. So you didn't change anything. So it's not my diet and I kind of figured it wasn't anything with my GI. Call it a record. This is the longest it's taken to edit a vlog. I would say I surpassed 11 hours. <laughs> it's done. I just hope you guys appreciate it. I heard my door and I thought it was my package because I had, I'll tell you later. Point is, FedEx sent me this, an invoice for the Women's Best set that I had from two months ago. The guy took down my credit card number, so why didn't he charge the dude customs? Anyway, I'm gonna call him and pay it because I don't like to owe anybody. Love her, she's She's the truth. My 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 calendar for today says anchor is division or divisive division. I don't know if I feel like talking about them anymore. That's the thing. Sometimes I write a topic down that I really want to talk about, but by Tuesday, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Welcome to FedEx. You can pay multiple invoices on this call. Two five. Sorry, please say or enter the invoice number. You can also say, I don't have it. 2536. The current amount due is. You can say, today. Yep, that's right. I memorized my credit card number because I can't see it. Oh, wait. I did it wrong. 362. Good gosh. You won't break my soul, these stupid machines. Okay, so this thing is still not ready to upload yet. I'm gonna start to make dinner, cause I'm hungry. Morning loves. So you saw that I was trying to eat clean yesterday. I'm going to keep that on. I'm going to be on my health kick this week. The last two weeks I didn't eat too good. I should probably go out to the grocery store so I can be more intentional rather than just use what I got. Because I'm running. No, I'm okay. I just kind of don't want to go out today because it's 18 degrees. It's so cold. We're going to make some green juice. But first I'm going to make some... Where did I put it though? Economical with my space. Oh no, now my leg is wet. Where did I put the cream of wheat? See right here. Okay. I need to find a better way of storing this. The package directions, it said to add salt. And I was like, say what, come again? Which reminds me, I need to buy sugar. I only ever use sugar when I'm baking. I never put white sugar in my tea. I think it's gross. I don't know how I used to do certain things that I just can't anymore. This is what's spooky to me. You only need two tablespoons for three quarters of a cup milk. When my great grandma used to make this for me on Saturdays, I always thought it was like equal parts, but it expands so, so, so much. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, but you know what I'm gonna put a lot of? Cinnamon. like how great grandma used to make it. I think she added vanilla extract too. You can barely see what that says. I don't want to add allspice because that's a completely different vibe. Now that that's there, that'll be good for two minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to blend up and strain. It's such a whole ordeal. I should probably just buy a juicer, but they're so big. I'm gonna make my green juice, which it's got a lot of stuff I'm just gonna show you. Okay. 
I never said this tasted good. I just said it was good for you. There's only one green juice that I actually like the taste of. It's called Genius. And I don't know what the combo is with it and why it tastes good. Maybe they use sweeter apples than I did, but any other green juice I've ever had or made. But I'm doing what needs to be done. That's all I know. I can't believe that took me an hour and a half though. Okay, your girl's got a little dilemma, but first tea. No, I'll do that after. Let me chat with you for a bit. So here I am thinking, ooh, it's a slow Tuesday. I haven't had one of these in a minute. I might not actually be experiencing a slow Tuesday. What it might be is that I did so much yesterday and the day before that this tempo, yeah. So what I'm trying to say is, I don't know if I should be filming right now, editing, or researching. I kind of don't want to edit because I spent more than nine hours editing over the last two days. I want to break from that and my eyes do too. So I'm thinking, should I film? I mean, that's what my calendar says, but I don't always follow it. I'm sure you're the same. And then I was thinking, hmm, I really want tacos and it's Tuesday. So do you want to go for tacos? It's Tuesday. Sure. Then I start calling up restaurants to see who has specials. Cause I haven't gone on a Tuesday in a minute. Usually. I don't know why, I do tacos on Wednesdays, Saturdays, any day but Tuesday more often than not. Nowhere has specials anymore. I mean, La Carnita has specials every day, but I don't know if I'm craving La Carnita. Anyway, I'm saying this all to say that five minutes late, <laughs> well, the weather's not that great. It's super gloomy and gray and kind of cold. Do you want to do it tomorrow so at least we can do a patio since there's no specials today? I am all types of confusing, okay guys? I don't even know how I keep friends or company. <laughs> But yeah, the weather is really playing with your girl's mood. I'm that type of person. I'm, I don't experience seasonal affective disorder. Thank God that's the last thing I need. But I do get affected, impacted slightly by days like these ever once in a while. Now, don't get me wrong. I love me a good gloomy day. Rainy days are my favorite. It's just such a vibe. But this, no. I want it to either rain or be sunny. This foolishness in between, it's overcast, gray, and cold. Return to sender. I mean, I want this. I don't, I don't, no, no thank you. So yeah, I'd rather do tacos tomorrow because at least we can have it on a patio. I mean, that is the quintessential summer thing to do here in the six. Go out to a patio, have a good margarita, a couple tacos in the sun. I can eat inside any other time of the year. So I'm figuring we'll leave that for tomorrow and then we'll be hella productive today. But then I'm looking at my calendar sideways, like do I really want to? What arrived, special delivery. And I actually was productive the last couple of hours. You guys would be so proud of me. I'm glad that I just focused on it instead of trying to show you in an aesthetic way. Okay, first box. Meanwhile, none of these should be on my comforter because Lord knows, I'm pretty sure they don't clean the back of their delivery trucks but we're gonna start with this one first because it's actually a PR box I'm kind of so the story with this is when you sign up for influencer which is an app that you can sign up for if you are a content creator like me it doesn't matter how big or small you are if you check my Instagram numbers you'll know exactly why I'm saying that but as long as you have some kind of following with some kind of engagement all you got to do is fill out a poll whenever they send you it and then you can get free-ish to review. I don't do it that much because I prefer doing paid stuff at this stage in the game, but every once in a while I'm like, tickle my fancy, riddle me this. I don't know what the saying is, but the point is, I thought I was getting a mattress. They said, congratulations, you are approved for the mattress. This is not a mattress, unless this is one of the magical Casper roll it out type of things. They sent me another email saying, your obuspore, obuspore? is on the way and I'm like, say it ain't so, because I haven't heard of that brand in a long time. But the last time I did, it was one of them things you put on the back of an old style office chair to give you extra cushioning. I mean, I want that. I really shouldn't have this dirty box on my bed though. <sighs> More to wash next time I do laundry. Okay, she got swindled. Wait, what is this? This is not that either. Okay, so what is this? 
Okay, the font is large enough for your girl to see. It's called a contour pillow. You're a teenager and it's Christmas day and you open up presents and you're in that in-between age where you're young enough that you still want some sick, like a toy tech type of thing, but you're old enough where your parents start to get you usable stuff. This is what this is giving. Like you open this up on Christmas day and you're like, oh wow, but hey, free pillow. But this is from Umbra, which is a Canadian brand. I don't know if this started in Toronto or if it's like Lululemon and Aritzia and originated in Vancouver and then came here. This is going to be a lifesaver. Why are they wrapped and wrapped and wrapped? That's weird. I was looking for some shelves for my bathroom because it's just, it's getting to be too much. I bought these little hooks from the dollar store and they were good for the first month, but every day I'll just be editing. Ooh. Sometimes it scares me. Like, What's going on? What duppy is in my house? For those of you who don't know, duppy is a ghost. Now I have these, which I'm actually terrified if these end up dropping too, because if they do, that's gonna give me a mild heart attack. I don't get it. Why is my life hard? I don't wanna rip the packaging in case it doesn't work, and then I have to send it back to the streets to the store. I mean, it shouldn't have been that complicated, okay? I'm wondering though is when I saw it online it had a little hook part that I hope is in that box so that you can hang your loofah off of it. I think it's going to be so pretty. I don't know if I should install this now or later. I think I'm going to wait till later. I like it in here. It's so peaceful. Left all this behind to be with someone else. Why should I fake it anymore? See? This is exactly what I'm talking about. Maram! Maram! Look at this ish. Of course, when I need the suction cup to come off, the one that drops off every day, it wants to stay. I don't even know. If I found the thing that worked, that can be. this authentic Japanese green tea kicks in. I didn't feel like matcha. Never thought the day would come when I would say that. I might have a matcha moment later though. I wasn't feeling coffee, but I need something with a caffeine kick. So this is my pick. I'm just so exhausted and I don't even know why. I slept well last night and I went to bed at a good time, but I guess the week is just catching up to me. Maybe it's because I know I have a whole bunch of things to do. Do you hear that? Nothing. I don't know. If, when, they're going to actually start construction today, I just hope. <laughs> I just hope if they start, when they start, it's after the two videos I have to film today. That's all I know. You know those days that you take forever to get out of bed? It's because you know you have a lot to do. And plus, my uterus chose violence last night. It wasn't supposed to start until today. I've never taken an Advil so early on. It's so bad so so bad guys i felt really nauseous i press record on the mic the fridge turns on okay maybe my fridge is not that loud and then you'll hear okay the jackhammer is that loud upstairs where they're doing the renovation just pray for me in many areas <laughs> will you blessing me baptize okay i need to get this energy in check i can't be here drowsy talking to you guys no one wants to watch whoa that was a big bird so there was a doodle on my balcony when my my guy friends, my boys came on Saturday and they're like, it's doodoo. I'm like, no, it's not. Who would doodoo? They're like, cats. I'm like, I don't think, I think everyone that lives in this building owns a dog but me. I don't know about cats. While we were lounging, they saw, hopefully you guys can see me. They saw 
hawks in the sky. That's probably what it was. So nasty. Anyway, I think I just saw, because I just saw like this big thing go and they're known for hawks and falcons do the craziest diagonal dip. So that's probably it. Baby, why you blessing me? I don't know why that song's in my head. I don't need a soft box today. I'm happy about that. You don't know how annoying it is to color correct soft box when you can't see well. I'm gonna do really neat. Making sure that I'm angle. I need to put on foundation, so I don't know why I'm rushing. Okay, so while it is uploading to my computer, I'm gonna have a little lunch, and then I'm gonna edit another one, a different one. I'm ahead of schedule, which is really good. That means I'll be able to do a lot of planning for the rest of the month. Sushi's not bad, right? I mean, after all, if I'm on this health kick, a little bit of sushi never hurt anybody with green tea that I still haven't finished from how many hours ago? The green juice. It's gonna taste better, chilled. Anyway, I'm so happy the construction isn't as loud as it usually is. You can barely hear it. I don't even think it'll pick up on the mic. Obviously, blind spills every time. So let's see how this tastes. Did it just get soaked up by one sushi? I hate when that happens. The sushi was so fresh yesterday. Green dragon all the way. For it when the sushi rice is hot and the middle part is cold. I don't like frozen sushi. Well, it's not frozen, but you know what I mean? This complements that so well though. to charge you guys on the go so that our table doesn't get taken away don't make me forget <laughs> i gotta cut this i'm finally wearing this i have to wear it at least once before the summer is over which one ysl or carolina herrera i'm feeling this one today i feel like there's so many outfits from this year and last that i haven't worn enough of or clearly figured one at all and I definitely have to before the colder weather comes. So let's go. Oh, baby, coming, coming, yeah, coming. I cannot fathom this life without you. Okay, super. I'm calling a guy like you should wear a warning. I'm back home and showered, ready for my Skype call. Let's just have some tea and chill. Washing that set, I didn't realize I didn't pin it properly. The bottom was literally cleaning King Street. This is a perfect way to wind down a Wednesday. I'll check with you guys tomorrow. Hey. Hola! Thursday. I'm so grateful that today's a yoga day. This damn thing mashed up my back. I'm so mad at it because it had potential. It's so squishy, but it's very stiff. Now, I don't know if it's because it's too low or what, but oh, I woke up not just with the worst back pains I've had in a long time on top of the cramps. Guys, this thing gave me nightmares. I was dreaming of demons chasing me in an elementary school. Like, what is that? I'm gonna have to see someone else who wants this. Maybe I can ask my mom. I don't wanna give it to someone in case it's cursed. I don't know. Heart arch through the thoracic. Accessible release the head back. Listen, you've been missing since 2016. Squid tell me. I don't know what it is about this alleyway, but it has a heavy, strong wind tunnel. Anyway. Outfit change. I'm on my way to pole class. I'm a couple minutes early, so I just figured I'd check in with you guys and let you know what I'm up to. But I don't even think you can hear me with all the wind, so you're gonna see in a second anyway. Oh, it's locked still.
timing, perfect, just enough time for me to quickly get ready to go to meet my friend who I haven't seen in three years. This is my friend who sat behind me in what, grade 11 law or history, whichever one it was, and told me that he was going to be a PhD student. I was like, what? I'm going to be a professor. I'm like, what? And he actually became a professor. Like, who knows at 16 that they want to be a professor? Him. So I don't think I'm going to film because I haven't seen him since before the pandemic. So it's been years. But I'm going to go get ready super quickly. Oh my gosh, that class was so much fun. I was flopping around like a fish out of water though. I need to get back into it. I need to get back into it. Luckily, all the girls and the instructor are super nice. We're all just laughing and having fun. But anyway, I'll check in with you guys in a sec. We're going to a pub so I don't need to dress up. And I'm going to bring a coat because it is cold. Oh my gosh, I really hope we have one more heat wave. Even though for me, that's like good weather. Burberry London Dream. And we are go. Apparently he's already there. He said he got a table. I don't think I need my sunglasses because there's not much sun left. Especially on that side of the street. Luckily, it's only a 10 minute walk for me. I'm gonna walk fast. So let's go. Good morning, everyone. Ooh, okay, I need to toast that a little bit longer. It got cold in the time that I frothed my mouth. That's the thing about waffles. I don't know. Certain foods, they don't hold heat for a long time. So be that it's 17 degrees, it's so cold today. Summer is done in my eyes. I wanted to go for a swim this morning. I checked the app while I was on the elliptical and I said, never mind that. We're gonna have some breakfast, do a little bit of editing. And then within the hour, head out to go grocery shopping because I need to get some things. My fridge is looking starkly empty. It's actually not that empty. I probably could make three, four meals. But the thing about me is I don't like my fridge empty to the point where it's like, what am I going to really eat? So I'm going to go grocery shopping today and then get some snacks for tomorrow's beach today. I'm so excited. This is the first time I'm going to Hanlon's this entire summer, which is strange because last year, if you remember those vlogs, once a week, like clockwork. I'm just gonna have my homemade buttermilk waffle with some blueberries that I washed. And then my matcha moment. I'm trying to finish off this matcha that I got from David's Tea. Oh, I don't even know when. Why is this milk not frothing? Yo, this frother, something's definitely going on. But you see it's blue, right? Cause they thought blue raspberry matcha would be a thing. Trust me, it isn't. It tastes gross. I'm just trying to finish it cause I hate wasting things. No, just no. I don't know when adulting kicked in, but I am so satisfied with those storage bins, those floating ones that are in my bathroom now. It just makes the whole place much better. I feel like my apartment, five years later, is coming together and I'm starting to settle in, if that makes sense. Like a lot of things I had, I bought before I moved in. So it's weird now buying things for this place because my mindset for the last year has been trying to get out of this place and move into a one bedroom in the same building. But since life doesn't work out the way it's planned, most of the time you gotta roll with the punches and make the best of the situation. So I'm gonna be here with these measure housing floors for a little bit longer. I figure if I live here where the rent is a lot cheaper, even though it's really expensive for the square footage, if I stay here for a year or two, then I can travel, which I haven't done with you guys for so long. I wanna go back to Europe. I wanna to go to ATL to visit my cousin. I wanna go back to Antigua. I also wanna try South America too. Where's your next to go to vacation? Is that right? Did I say that right? Yeah, where's your next go to vacation? I wanna know. What I feel like I just spilled syrup on my sock. I would be the one to do that. I try not to be in this mindset too much because I feel like it doesn't do anything for anyone, but I wish I had traveled more and done the whole solo travel thing when I saw better. Because now, I think I appreciate seeing the world because I can't see it as well. But I'll be honest with you guys, I'm probably at least a year out from my next trip. Seeing how much vision I've lost this year kind of worries me. Who am I kidding? It really worries me as far as being able to experience life and enjoy things and do what I need to do. I'm just grateful I'll never be completely blind, but that doesn't mean I'm not worried along the way. 
it doesn't mean I'm not annoyed about the progression because I wish it just got to a certain point and stayed and then I could adapt and adjust. But I've talked to you guys about that before and if you're legally blind, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I stay positive, stay up on my supplements, which I think they are working. The only thing that's crazy to me is it says three twice daily. I'm not doing that. Six pills a day, no thank you, you can keep that. So I do three once a day. And I swear I got this less than a month ago. There goes one. Good thing I swear for my floor. But I mean, if it helps, I kind of think it is a little bit, but you know, that could also be placebo effect. So who knows? Watermelon secured. Oh my gosh. This is one of the baby ones. They had one double the size. I wouldn't have survived coming home with it. I'm just going to put this in here because <clears throat> it needs to be washed before it's cut. I got so much fruit. It's insane. Pineapple and the coconut. Actually, now I'm craving pineapple and coconut. Ooh, this was such a good deal. You saw me with the ladder. It's because I had to reach up get these cookies they've been sold out for two months what do you expect okay extreme measures for extreme snacks this was five dollars which is crazy because usually at the supermarché that i go to get this it's three dollars but everything's going all the way up and it's stuck and it's up and it's stuck it's me lazy by the way because i was not about tying i'm just over body suits so now i clip it on the side and no one needs to know it's just a secret i'm sharing with you in case you go through the same woes too. This to unpack before I start editing today's video. I saw some guy going down in like real short shorts, hoochie daddy shorts, they're swim shorts, but still. And I was like, wow, homeboy can't wait to swim. I don't even think it's that warm. But he asked me thinking, maybe I should go to because I haven't swam this week or last. Wait, did I show you guys? These cookies are my kryptonite. These soft ginger cookies from President's Choice. If you live in Toronto and you can get them, definitely try them. It got a little bruised on the bottom. <laughs> My last acne medication, I'm so happy to be over it because if you don't take it with a lot of food, oh, the cramping. I don't even think it's healthy to be taking something like that so regularly, you know? Kale, specifically for my kale smoothies. I didn't get any meat because last night, I don't know if I told you, but I didn't eat clean. There wasn't anything good on the menu and then I picked poutine because I was like, well, the last poutine I had wasn't that good, but this one was worse, so it didn't really make up for it. Granola bars, as if I'm going back to school or something, and strawberries. These were on sale for what? Three dollars? I usually get them for five, but where I get them for five, they're way fresher, but since I'm packing them tomorrow for the beach, I'm like, we're gonna eat them tomorrow anyway. <laughs> Broccoli, even though I just threw out a broccoli head when I went out because I forgot it at the very bottom of my fridge. I need to stop doing that. I can't afford to waste food. $8 for this on sale. I asked her and she said seven something and I was like, $8? Just to say, because I wanted to get some chicken to make jerk chicken plantain and rice and peas, but that's not gonna happen this week. Chicken breast frozen, but I don't like making jerk chicken from chicken breast. I find it gets too dry in the process. <laughs> Another broccoli crown. Blueberries, because I'm almost done my other pint. Do you like these grocery haul segments that I do once a week? Are you interested in what your girl eats or is this just the boring part you skip through? Let me know. So I know for the next week vlog to do it or not to. And then last and certainly clearly least, three limes for a dollar. Perfume from yesterday. I packed it just in case that pole dancing worked me and I didn't want to smell like that sitting next to somebody on the TTC. When I used to live in Etobicoke, oh my gosh, from Kipling to Bloor is a nightmare. How many people, those what, 15 stops, get on and don't know what deodorant is? It's an abomination. Anyways, I'm going to put these away and I'll check in with you guys later after I've edited. I have time to just chill. I have a million things to do.
Okay, so boom, let's try this. It is good, but it is strong. I didn't know until today that a mojito is two ounces. No wonder they always get me lit. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if my camera will zoom in. Do you see what I'm showing you here? So this is the second straw. Because there was a casualty before. Me, with my little blind self, decided to clean the counter back here just in case anyone's trying to peep that while I'm making the drink. But did I forget that I had the clear straw on the countertop? Now I know. Oh, don't tell me there was eye boogers there all this time because I'm not refilming it. Track like magnets. She sees more than the bins wagging the friends tagging along with the flashy nigga bragging on the song. She gets a glimpse of Sean and she likes that. He two ways up, so she writes back. Smiley faces after all of her phrases. Either she the one or I'm caught in the matrix. Who fuck you let the bitch? It was me. I wake up and I'm like, shoot, two minutes before my alarm, but still an hour late because I was supposed to wake up an hour earlier today so I can cut the fruit. I haven't even gone to the gym yet. <laughs> I knew something like this would happen. I told myself last night, cut the fruit. You're gonna leave by 10, which technically gives me enough time for a half an hour workout. So the only thing is I didn't pick out my outfit for the night market and it's gonna be cold because we're by the water and the nights are freezing now. I mean, not freezing like winter cold, but freezing for Alicia cold. The reason why I'm so exhausted is because that computer, I think it's time for a new one. I checked my speed because I thought it was me thinking it was the internet, but it says my internet's good when I did a speed check on Google. So if you ever feel like your internet's slow, all you have to do is type in Google speed test, and then Google will check it through the search bar. It's pretty cool. You can also hum a song if you turn on the mic recording or you tap the button on the Google search and it'll find what the song is. There's so many cool things about Google that I didn't know until this week. Oh my gosh. It's always when you need to do something that it takes so damn long. Oh, but today, thank you, Jesus. Pineapple becomes more of a sticky mess. So let's cut the watermelon first. Whew, I'm gonna just do half, because we're not gonna eat all of it. Oh, I'm already so tired. This can go in the fridge. Oh, it looks very red. I'm happy about this. And it's already cut. No, it's like broken. I wanted to cut my watermelon and my pineapple all aesthetic, but we don't have time for that. I probably should have done this while my video was rending. Oh, as I was saying, my video was like seven or eight minutes today. Nutrition video, check it out. Tell me why. Am I cutting off the... Yes, because it's going to be more carry. I want my bag to be as light as possible. Chose violence this morning for real, for real. Tell me why. It took over an hour to upload, seven minutes. That's why the vlogs are always late. Okay, maybe they're also late because I start editing late and my vision makes me late. But also it takes sometimes four hours for a vlog to upload. In what world? Don't ask a blind girl to cut your fruit. Cut fruit costs so much more in the supermarket. Look at the effort. Oh wow, not that hard. the pineapple because I know that's going to take a minute. Let's do the other fruits. So I have eight dollar grapes. I'm still not over it from yesterday, okay? Cerries. Cerries. Ooh, I think I'm supposed to put watermelon in this one. Oh well. That's a lot of grapes. Okay, maybe I washed them and put them back in the bag, by the way, if you're wondering. Oh, that song is stuck in my head now. This is what stress feels like. I don't want it back. Take it back. What time is it?
This no, this man. dollar would last me the next summer. Need your cooler, sir. Oh, you need my cooler. I don't even smell sweet. Did you see the dog for eight? Is it? Oh, yes. I love that everyone came so prepared. David, hey. Oh, is that? Good? Yeah. That's not that funny. We're like frozen in time, and it's Kev. You're okay to be on the vlogs, right? Yeah. Okay. Why do you like this? What's missing? If you guess the strap, you guess right. I don't even know how the strap fell out. Well, I guess I do because look, it's falling out of this one too. I don't know where it fell out, but I try to retrace my steps four times at the beach. So that's the first problem. I don't even know why I'm bothering putting it back because it's not like I'm wearing these ever again. Ugh. The problem with nude shoes in a sandy area is you can't, well if you're me, you definitely can't see, but my two friends that I went with also try to help me look. There's that. There's the fact that I have a really bad migraine right now. I'm so tired. <sighs> and clearly I'm not at the winter market. Why do I keep calling it winter market? It's not winter, girl. I'm not at the waterfront market. So what happened was, I was 40 minutes late getting back from the island. We were in the line for the ferry, but it was taking too long, so we paid extra to take the water taxi back. Oh, now I've got hiccups too? Great. Guys, I'm out of commission right now. And I texted my friend, as he said, wait in front of the Fairmont, so that's what we did. Because of traffic, they took about 20 minutes to get there, even though their house is not that far away. And then from there, it took two hours to get what would normally take just under 20 minutes. One of my friends got so upset they got out of the car and walked away so we didn't end up going. I feel so bad because I know had I been on time that wouldn't have happened. So we're going to end the vlog here since there's nothing. I'm just going to put on my pajamas and go to sleep. So next week's vlog will be a fresh start. So until then, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later. I just hope that I don't wake up with this migraine though.